All right, welcome to C Custom Designs. We're continuing the series with making a bandsaw box. All the steps are included. Um, hopefully, I don't forget to link some of them together. But um, essentially, you're watching a series on how to make bandsaw boxes. Don't be deceived by the word bandsaw box. Does this look like a box? So I basically put a uh, made a shape out of this guy. So follow the series from picking the wood out and joining the wood up. Uh, as you can see, this has uh, one, two, three, four pieces. This is uh, basically from a table. These are all the corner pieces of the table that are joined up. This is the other parts of that, that table uh, that are joined up. All right, so um, the last video was all about how do we make the bottom flat uh, because it was pretty uh, rough. I'll show you what I mean. So when I joined it up, the pieces slipped, this and that and the other, and there's no, no worries. You're going to be able to take care of all this stuff. All right, so we, we, we took care of that with the bandsaw. Now, we need, I, what I need to do is fix the back, okay? This is looking pretty sharp here, nice and, you know, curvy and so on and so forth. So I decided that I'm going to take a line from here all the way down to here, and that should give me plenty of room to, to get rid of this excess. The same with this one here. And uh, I'll tell you what, the... Uh, the Precision Triangle 18 inch from Woodpecker was the deal. It gives me plenty of real estate. I never thought that I would spend $180 on a, uh, on a square until I met Woodpecker. They make amazing tools. Okay, so this allowed me to very easily uh, set the square on there, okay, and draw that line. So, love the Woodpecker company. Um, these are special tools that are made at uh, various times of the year, um, so on and so forth. So there you go. Here's a little mini one. Check out this little guy. He's about $23, I don't remember. All right, so let's go ahead and set the camera up. And uh, I am a one-man show here, so it's kind of tough for me to, um, to stop and, and continue to do this. But I promised that I would show you every aspect. Of what it means to make a bandsaw box. Again, this is SD Custom Designs. Uh, subscribe to my channel, it'll be awesome. Uh, and uh, hit the bell, and you'll be notified when new videos go up, such as this one. All right, so with bandsaw operations, you want to be nice and have a clear head, have, have a uh, clear plan. Uh, definitely use air protection. I have 1700 lumens of light shining on it. Let's get to it. Just take your time when you're doing stuff like this.
Alright, we're going to take you off the of mount. So you can see what, uh, see what we're talking about here. If you haven't, uh, if this is the first time you're seeing my my channel, know that when you're when I'm walking the camera around, you see a tool. Know that I did pro I did a review on it. Some reviews are very long. I do research, and then I'll put in my own experiences, etc. So, all right. So there we go. Um, I'm happy with this. We'll go ahead and just uh, we got a little bit of uh, a valley here, you know, the glue. That's down on there, but I'll sand that out. That won't be a problem. And so here's what he looks like. Nice and sharp here. Same with this one here. Look at this guy. Very nice. And so the idea here is if I take them and flip them, it's more realistic now. You just turn, turn, turn them around like so. They happen to be backwards at this point. <laughs> there we go. They're kind of like bookshelves now. Bookends. Bookends. All right. Who knows what the customer is going to do with them? I would love to be able to just hold on to my work, but I like to create, sell it, and do it again. All right. So what's next? <sighs> we have a situation where this really this piece of wood here should have went on this side. Then I wouldn't have to really worry about this cavity here. But I can also claim, I need to be careful, that's, that's thin in there, um, um, that's this the back side of the, the unit, that that was intentional. I can say whatever I want. <laughs> that it was intentional, and that is what I meant to do. So we have to figure out now how we're going to clean this up. This is probably going to be copious amounts of sanding, very, very careful Look at the episode uh, that I did not too long ago, but an hour ago or so. I did a video on all the sanding units that I have. Here's one, two, three. And then all of my hand sanding was on, on there, that table there. So now I have to figure out, am I going to just, you know, go ahead and grab. This is where uh, a power sander, a hand palm sander, you know, whatever. Um, or am I going to step up to this one? Who knows? At this point, you just want to be careful that you don't sand too much, okay? I intentionally try to go thick with the outside carcass of, of the unit, okay? Um, so that knowing that I am going to be doing some sanding in here, it made perhaps some, some shaping. Whereas this guy now comes down uh, into itself. I, I kind of like that, actually. So I'll probably clamp these guys together and then sand this as one unit as far as that that is concerned, okay? Um, that's probably what I'll do there. But who knows? I don't even know that I'm going to, to video that part, okay? Just know that he's going to look a little different when I'm, the next time you see this guy. So I'm really getting near the finish line. It's just going to be copious amounts of sanding. i got to sand all the drawers. Okay. Whoops. Don't want to drop them. Let's go ahead and stick that in there. Lots of fun making bandsaw boxes, let me tell you, very, very uh, fulfilling to make these things. Very interesting drawers, aren't they? That's what makes them cool. I still have to work on him a little bit. I just haven't, uh, didn't have to finish that just yet. All right. So and here's the other drawers. And I look at look at him. You think that he's going to go in this way? Nope. Look how he goes in. Interesting, hey. 
sorry. Having one hand is difficult to do these types of things. There you go. I think that's really, really cool. Of course it is. I made it. Oh, I'm just kidding. All right. All right. Lots of fun, man. You have the made bandsaw boxes. Start off humble. Like something like this, this size. Make something small. Make it uh, plain. That's how I started off. Okay. There we go. Look how, look how cool that is. Really, really awesome. All right. I'm going to let me go so I can get to work. I really like the way this shaped up. I will more than likely leave that alone. I like that a lot. I wasn't sure what he was going to look like, but look at him coming coming into shape. This is just very, very nice. Okay, thanks for watching. This is Cousin Designs. Again, this is a series. I lost track of how many episodes I've done. There's lots of steps to making a thing. And um, take care. Stay tuned.